Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this time we are getting it all in Escape 2088. Now if you have played a few of these on Skull games at Development Publisher, Escape games, you'll realise that this is the same thing. You've got to do some figuring out, some puzzling until your puzzler is sore, and escape. Easy peasy. Now thankfully this time there are no multiplayer achievements to worry about, but we do have to do all three chapters in a given time, which is... I don't know, but there does seem to be a lot of room for error, so don't even panic your pube sacks about it. Now, on Steam and PlayStation, there are only six achievements and trophies, whereas on Xbox, they added more, and it's gone up to ten. So, I will be showing you how to quickly beat the first three levels, get the few miscellaneous achievements in those levels, then get the remaining two achievements which weren't on the PlayStation afterwards. Trust me, it's just easier that way. But all in all, you're looking at around 5, 10 to 15 minutes to complete this, so with that being said then, let's do it. Now you're going to be controlling a little mouse, there it is, can be hard to see, but that's what you've been controlling with, with the left stick and then pressing the A button to start things. So, on T Chapter 1, first thing you're going to do then, uh, it's the right stick to move the camera, so we're going to press the A button on the table here, and what we're going to do is interact with the fan and then move the slider to the left. And that is going to get us our first achievement of the game for biggest fan. You ain't got no fans. Then we can press the B button to back out once and twice to get back to the main bit. Move the camera again and have a look at the keypad. Now, uh, if you type in the code 2846, so that's 284 and 6. And then you need to actually press the A button and then the left stick to move the cabinet open. So you have to move it yourself there with the left stick. So what you need to do is flick the switches up. So number 10, again, you have to press the A button and flick it up yourself. So number 10, 12, 8, 4, and 3. So again, you have to flick it up yourself rather than just press the A button on it. But that's 10, 12, 8, 4, and 3. Then you can grab the key from the left-hand side and press the B back button to back out. Have a look at the right-hand side wall and interact with this key. Now, to grab things from the inventory, you need to hold the A button and drag it. So you need to hold the A button and drag it to wherever you need to go. You have to be quite precise with where you put it. So put it in the key, open it up again, open up the door, and then click the number 2. And that will get this, uh, it's, it's called a dumb waiter, which is harsh on waiters, really. They're not so dumb, they're fantastic, they bring you food, damn it. When it opens up, interact with the control anyway. And then we can click on the control and we have to push a few buttons in order. So it's going to be the green one, which is the top middle. The orange one, which is the third row on the left. The yellow one, the bottom left. And then the purple, which is the third row right. Then you can just um, flick the on button. You don't have to do what I just done there. So now we can press the B button to back out because we've got the achievement what we need. So back out again, then head to the right. Now interact with these chest drawers, Bruce Almighty style. Have a look at the top right hand corner, the one, with, the one with the sticky note on it. Again, open it up by pressing A and left down on the left stick. And interact with the item. Back out a couple of times again and turn to the right. All the way to the right. You actually need to close this door now. So uh, we've done this puzzle, but we need to close the door. Grab the item that we just got. Again, drag it over by holding the A button. And use it on the buttons. That'll pop the buttons out. Go to the left. Interact with the keypad with no buttons on it a couple of times and then grab the keys. Oh, damn it. That's annoying when that happens. Pop it in and then we just need to input the code 7539. So it's 7539. If you make a mistake, have a look at the X button and uh, use that. Otherwise, it's 7539. Press the arrow button and that will complete chapter number one. So these are quite quick chapters. Um, I mean, realistically, if you're speed rushing through this, you could get this done w in less than five minutes. But, you know me, I like to take my time, pace it out so you know where we're going, so we're not rushing and pausing the video every one second. So, chapter two, uh, interact with the two cabinets here, and then input the code on the left one, 2008. Uh, sorry, 2088, sorry. So, 2088, this is just for an achievement. So that achievement there, met, meta game, will unlock. There is actually nothing in the cabinet, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But that's 2088 for that achievement. And then with this next one, the right-hand side one, we need to be putting in 8731. Press the arrow to unlock it and open that up. So click the scissors and then click on the big mighty pole right next to it and then interact with the 
gate to open that one up. Have a look at this barrel of barrelness and just grab the spring off it. There we go. So that's springy. Back out again. And then what you're going to do is turn to the right, all the way to the right. Have a look at these boxes. Have a look at the right down and interact with this big meaty thing. It's not meaty. Um, have a look up. And th this is where we need to stick El Meaty thing. So drag it up again. You've got to be precise. So pop it in the hole. Eh. Then pop the pole up. Um, it should already be in. So if you press the A button on it. Next, push it up until the first one is green. Then click on the third one and push it all the way up until it's red. And that is it. So it's green, blue, red, blue. Then you can just look down. Interact with the little control panel here again. Interact with the spring. Bring it over and use it on the third one. And then you can switch the lever on. And then the electrical come on. That's all good. So we can back out. We can now go to the left and interact with this button. Now, the last achievement of the game that I get, you can actually get here quite quickly. Um, but I did actually miss it the first time because I was focused on just getting it done as quick as possible. So that's fine. Because uh, we're just going to interact with the key code here at the back and just input the code 671 and 36713. And that will actually end the level. So, uh, but by the way, that last achievement, basically, there was a little um, antenna on the box you had to put in the satellite dish, but that's fine anyway. So, on to chapter three, grab the battery here from the fence, just behind the fence. Then, have a look at the box here on the left-hand side. Grab the acetone. It's pronounced, it's it's spelled acetone, but for some reason, uh, somebody liked the word ass. Acetone. Open up the bin and use said AC acetone. So drag it over, and you have to be quite precise, but you've got to put it on both of the screws here. So put it just on the middle of both screws, and then we can grab the screws, and we have to do this with both of them. So acetone 1 and acetone 2. Stick the ass where the tone don't shine. So grab the both screws then, and that should be good. Now we can back out of there, and then head to the left. Look up, and look up again. And we can grab the item here, which is just chilling. That's what we need. Right, so back out. Interact with this vent or whatever that is on the left-hand side. Now what we can do is actually uh, go down to your inventory, grab the screwdriver, and then use it on the screw, and then press the A button to pick up the screw. Sorry, I did do that quite quickly, but you do need to press the A button to pick up the screw. Back out, turn back around, and then interact with the barrel here on the right-hand side. Now get one of the big twisty poles and put that basically in the middle. So that is how you do that in the middle. Then grab the battery, Put that on said meaty stick, <laughs> and you will get the Dr. Science achievement, and we can pick it up. Turn to the left, have a look at the bin. Interact with the key to get another achievement for basically breaking the key. Ah, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, interact with the bin again. Sorry, I did accidentally back out. Then we can use our new meaty stick battery sword, uh, <laughs> whatever we just made, to open it up. Then just press the left stick and A all the way to the left. Just keep going until it pops off, there it is, open up the bin, then we can use the other little pole or whatever that is and put that in the bottom of the pliers and then use the screw that we got earlier, use that of course in the middle of the pliers. And then once that is done, turn around and we can use, uh, interact with the fence and then we can use the pliers on the fence and that is da -da 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 -da. all three chapters done aroni, Mr. Pepperoni. So we've just got two more achievements left to get. And they are going to be for turning off the fan. And it's not as easy as just flicking it off. There's quite a lot you have to do in that first chapter, which is why I left that one. And for getting signal, which is putting the antenna in a satellite. Now, like I said, I could have and probably should have done that one before. Um, I, it, it literally would have just taken seconds. But I did, like I said, I missed it the first time through, which is why we've done that. Anyway, chapter one. So, to get that one, we're going to look at the desk, get, grab the screwdriver. And we are going to look at the fan, the clock, etc. on the right-hand side here. Um, what you need to do is, you need to look at the fuse, the plug, where the plug is. You actually have to click on the plug, then go ahead and drag the screwdriver over. Pop that one open. And again, you think it's as easy as that, but it's not. We've got quite a bit to do. So, back out, look to the right. Go all the way to the right and have a look at the chair. We're going to grab the fuse. Hello, Mr. Or spark plug, whatever you want to call it. Uh, open up the uh, uh, cushion, grab the battery. Have a look at the chest of drawers and have a look at the bottom, the very bottom side cabinet here and open it up. Now, you'll get a um, code 14711. 
Obviously, it'll want you to go around and have a look and try and figure it out for yourself, but I'm just going to tell you what the code is anyway. Um, but in order to get these codes, it is 2316, but the code won't actually work. We do actually have to find the code, which is fine. So if we back out, have a look at the poster, press start, and then at the top left-hand corner, just go to any other language to see the code 2316. Go back to English, go back down, and now the code should work. So beep, beep, beep. That should be all good. So once that one is done, then we can now actually grab the prong or the, the spark plug sticking out at the top there. So that's the second one. Next, then, we're going to interact with the third drawer just above the key code and grab the third spark plug. Uh, you can go ahead and grab this paper. It doesn't actually serve a difference, though. So if we keep going to the right, have a look in these bin bags. Black bin bags, that is where the fourth spark plug is. Now turn right slightly and interact with this. And we can pop all four in. Yowza, muck trousers, fling flouser. Damn, that's a big yowza. And then press the red button and that will get us the torch light. Or the flashlight, sorry, whatever. So turn around back onto the fan desk. Uh, interact with the clock there. And now drag the torch light. But you actually have to interact it with the clock itself. So I tried interacting it there with the wire, it didn't work, you've got to interact with it with the clock. Then put the battery on top of the torchlight, and that'll give us a new code that we can use. Which again, you actually have to find this code before using it, otherwise the code won't work. So back out, go all the way to the right, interact with the left hand side drawers again, but the very, very left hand side. And then we can put in the code 2446, and then enter. That will actually open up the top drawer, which will reveal... Ta-da! Lots of money! Potentially, I assume. It's like a diamond or something. So now we can have a look. Um, we can go all the way back to the uh, desk fan, but go underneath the desk this time. There's the red button. You need to push that all the way up yourself. Once that's pushed up, back out a couple of times again. Go to the right, and the poster has moved up. Now we can grab that uh, ruby sapphire thing, whatever it is. Open up the lever. That gets us the pliers that we need. Now we can finally get the achievement, so have a look, do it. Again, you actually have to interact with the plug again because it won't work. <laughs> How silly of me. And once that is done, then the fan will finally stop and you will get the achievement there. Uh, fan is over. Now again, I'm not sure, I didn't really test, but I don't know if you've got such a massive time limit that you could have done this first anyway. But I just decided to get the first three chapters quickly and done and out of the way. So now we're going to go ahead, go to start game. We are going to go to chapter two. Again, I do apologize. Like I said, you could have probably just, you, in fact, you could have easily done this the first time around. So I do apologize for wasting your time for a bit. But all we need to do is grab the spring. We need to grab this uppy thing. Open up the gate there or open up the locked fence, whatever it is. Turn all the way around. Have a look at the uh, boxes. Of course, you're going to need to look at the boxes to grab the canister. Then we can just back out, have a look at the top of the ceiling once again, or for some reason I put the spring in first. So again, completely doing this ass backwards, uh, which I do apologize. Uh, so we've popped the spring in, and then of course it's the same thing, pop the canister in, pop the uh, springy chingy thing in. And remember, it's green for the first one, then interact with the third one, put it all the way to red, so it's green, blue, red, blue. Then we can just go ahead and switch the electronic kunacusity on, Open up the way again, and like I said, just on the left-hand side of boxes here is going to be the antenna, what we need. So there it is, so you look at the boxes, grab the antenna, back out, turn all the way around, have a look at the top right-hand corner, interact, you've got, again, you've got to actually interact with the satellite dish, and bammo, there it is. So again, that would have only taken seconds, so I apologise that I've sort of added time onto the video, probably didn't need to do that, but anyway... That is how you get all of those achievements. So, I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my uh, continued support on Patreon. It's fantastic. And I will see you in the next one. Big lovables.